Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. This video is going to be part three of my BMW coding series. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at how to code the various options in your modules using NCS Expert. This is going to allow us to do things like, uh, you know, turn on and off the uh, automatic windows up and down, you know, and turn off, uh, you know, if you want to have your door lock um, once you start uh traveling at a certain speed, you know, it'll automatically lock your doors, things like that. All those little settings and features, I'm going to show you how to change those and, and check out what is actually available because there's a surprising amount of options available. So we're going to use NCS Expert to do that. We're also going to use another program called NCS Dummy. Now, uh, NCS Expert, I've already showed you how to install that in one of the previous videos in this series. So Go ahead and uh, check that video out if you need to know how to install INPA and need to know what uh, hardware you need in order to do this. But this is assuming you follow those other two videos. You have INPA and NCS Expert installed. Now I need to show you how to get NCS Dummy. So there is going to be a link in the description of this video. This is the link right here. Um, I can't open it right now because I'm too far away from my uh, my my wireless access point in order to get internet service out here. I'm sitting in the car in the driveway. But this is the page that you have to open. It's just a post on Bimmer Forums, and it has the link to the latest version of NCS Dummy. And all you have to do is read the instructions there. It's just a simple, you know, uh, uh, like I think it's a RAR file that you download. Um, I have it downloaded here in Downloads. Uh, it's just a zip file that you download, um, and you might also need to download the .NET, you know, .NET FX 3.5, and, and, and install those. I needed to install that here on Windows XP in order to make uh, NCS Dummy actually run. And so what I did was I I expanded NCS Dummy and I put it just in the root of my C drive. So I now have NCS I now have NCS Dummy right here. And then I just made a little shortcut on my desktop so that I can run it. Now, I will get to what NCS Dummy is and how we use it uh, in the course of making this video. So first, let's just start up NCS Expert. And we are going to go to Load Profile. By the way, my, uh, my INPA cable is plugged in and the ignition is turned on. So everything's hooked up and ready to go. I'm going to hit Load Profile. And I want to choose this RevTours NCS Expert Profile. I've tried to use the expert mode profile before, but for some reason it just doesn't work. So uh, when, when I'm using this one, it works. So I'm just going to choose that one. Now we're going to go ahead. This is just like in that other video. We're going to hit, you know, going to, to VIN. And then we're going to hit uh, ZCSFA from ECU. This is just going to read the VIN information, the SA, from the car. And again, I have the post facelift car, so I have to choose one of these modules that begins with an A. Um, if you have a pre-facelift car that's 2001 or, or earlier, then you would choose EWS or KMB. And so I'm just going to choose AKMB because, you know, that's the instrument cluster. Might as well choose that one. It really doesn't matter. There you go. It read the, the information. It's got my, uh, my info there. So we're just going to go back. So now we're at the front of the program, and you see it says it wants to code all of these modules. And uh, the job here is SG Coderin. That means write. And we don't want to do that. We don't need to code all the modules because if, if we did this, it's just going to write all of the default settings to those modules, which is what happened to me when I did the previous videos. So what we want to do is we want to just process one ECU at a time. We're going to change that to GM5 because that's the module where I want to change some, some settings. That's the General 5 module or General Module 5. So I'm just going to keep these settings here. Hit OK. I want to change the job now. SG Coderin means to, 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 means to code. I'm going to change that to coder date and lesson. That means read the coding. So let's accept that job. And now let's execute that job. So what it did was it downloaded all the settings from the GM5 module. And it stored them in a file. And that file is in my computer, C, NCS Expert, Work. It's in this folder right here. Now you want to change the view to Details so that you can sort these files by date modified with the newest files at the top. And you see how all of these files right here were just modified right now. 
And this this is the file here that we're interested in, fsw underscore psw dot trace. If you open up this file, you can see that there are a bunch of like settings in here. And you can see that underneath each one it says active or nicked active. But all these settings, all these things, they're in German. You know, we don't know what the hell this is. So that's where NCS dummy comes in. NCS dummy helps us translate all those settings in that file into English so we can understand what's going on. So all you do is choose your chassis and I'm going to choose the module which in this case is going to be GM5. You see that there are a bunch of different GM5s, right? Uh, I'll show you what you do with that in a second. We're going to choose the 01 for right now. We're going to browse and we're going to choose that fsw underscore psw dot trace file. Open that up. Now you'll notice here that we don't have any checkboxes here and you notice there's an error down here. An error occurred while reading fswpsw.trace. So what what that means is it doesn't like this the CO1 profile. It if you choose the CO2 profile, boom, no error down here and it read all these settings and now I, I have all these checkboxes. So this is the one that it wants. Okay, if I tried to use 04 it doesn't like that one. There's another error down there and the same for all the other ones. So basically choose the one, you know, keep choosing these until you find one that works. And so now you see we have all these settings here and they're all translated. So you can just spend some time reading what these are. Um, I did earlier and there's like one setting in particular that I'm interested in changing. And that is going to be, if I can find it, this one right here, door unlocking functionality. Pressing remote control unlock button once unlocks the driver door and twice unlocks all doors. I hate that setting. I prefer this one down here. Pressing the unlock button once unlocks all doors. And I didn't even know about the twice opens driver window. I, I didn't know that. But this is the setting I want. So I'm going to choose that. Okay. And uh, there's one other setting that I want to change at least for right now. And that is right here. Automatically lock when exceeding a certain speed. I definitely want to enable that because I like my doors to automatically lock once I'm driving. And if we kind of go down here, there's another setting that that it's right here. Threshold speed for speed dependent locking. You know, it, it'll lock after you're going 16 kilometers an hour or 8 kilometers an hour. I'm just going to change this to 8 just for the hell of it. I'm going to check this. You can also change that to, uh, you know, when switching on accessories, which means when you turn the ignition on, it locks your doors. So if you want that setting, you can change that. So I'm just going to change those three settings and we'll go ahead and write these back to the GM5 module and uh, we'll be done. So the way you do that is you hit export and then you do export fsw underscore psw dot man, man file. And you see it said it exported them to the fsw psw dot man. So now if you go in here back to this work folder and hit refresh, you see how this is this fsw psw man file is now the newest modified file. If you went and opened that up, you'll see all the settings. But if we went ahead and searched for our setting, let's just use that uh, V E R R I E G E L N G. If we take a look at that setting, you can see that that's set to 8 kilometers now. Remember, it was set to 16 before. So as you can see, this .man file now contains all of the changes that we want to program to our GM5 module. Um, it won't program them unless it's unless they are in this dot man file. So in other words, this this dot trace file is for when uh, NCS expert reads the settings. The dot man file is for when it's going to write those settings back to the module. So you you have to make sure that your new settings are in that dot man file. So now we just go back into NCS expert and we don't want to read the data anymore. That's the coder coder date and lesson. That's the read job. We need to change that. And we want to go back to SG Coderin. That is to write, to code. So that's the write job. And now all we do is execute job, coding active, coding ended. Boom, we're done. Now the general five module has our new settings and uh, we're all good to go. Now to confirm that, all we have to do is change the job back to coder date and lesson and go ahead and execute it. That's going to read the net, the new settings back from the from the the car. If we go into this folder, hit refresh. You see that now these files have been modified again. So now this file is newer, 
And now if I opened this up and I just searched for that same setting, hold on, let me get it on the screen here. If I search for V E R R I E search for that setting, you see that it now is eight kilometers an hour. And I'm sure if I search for those other two settings that I enabled, they would now be set to the to the, the things that I have set them to. So that is it, man. That's all you do in order to change the settings in your various different modules. So now when I drive my car, if I go ahead and test drive it, my doors are going to automatically lock once I reach eight kilometers an hour. And uh, if I press the button once to unlock my doors, it's going to unlock all the doors. So that's pretty cool. And that is it, guys. That is all you need to know about coding your modules. See right here it says fswpsw.man is not empty. It's recommended to empty the file. That's just good practice. Go ahead and click OK. So all that does is it makes sure this file is empty. That way if somebody comes in here and tries to code something, it's not going to mess anything up. So just a quick note for you guys. Turns out I picked the two settings that were just a little bit more complicated to pull off. I went to test the settings that I changed and, you know, they didn't work. And it turns out if I just scrolled down in this list, I would have found that there is an individual setting for uh, all four of the different uh, remote keys that you could possibly have, I guess. So what I've done is I just, you know, I, I, I enabled these settings on all four of them. And it's the same thing with this automatically lock when exceeding a certain speed setting. So both of those settings, both of the, the, the all four door unlock and the lock your doors once you're moving, both of those settings are, were just a little more complicated and you have to change them down at the bottom of this list. So I just went ahead and enabled it on all of these and, you know, I exported the man file, I wrote it to the module, and now it works. So there you go, guys. In case, just in case you wanted to change those two particular settings, that's what you have to do. That is it, guys. That is all you do in order to code your, your car, code your modules, and change all the various settings and do it easily. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I am the 50s Kid. Thanks a lot for watching.